Hello there everyone, in this video I will show you how to fake magnifying glass effect in Adobe After Effects. This will be a very easy tutorial, so without any further ado, let's get started. We'll be using these two photos in this tutorial. You can download them for free if you want to follow along. Okay, let's bring these photos into our timeline. The book photo is a high resolution photo. Expand the book layer and reduce the scale so we can see the whole book. Now duplicate this book layer. Press Ctrl or Command and D to duplicate it. We will zoom this layer. This will be our magnifying layer. Now press S for scale and increase it. I want to rotate the magnifying glass. Select the magnifying glass layer and press R for rotate. Something like this will do. Now what you want to do is we only want to see the zoomed layer through the magnifying glass. There are a few ways to do that but we'll follow a simple way. Select the ellipse tool and cover the middle of the magnifying glass. You will see a shape layer is created in the layers panel. Now place the booked zoomed layer just below the shape layer. Change the track mat to alpha mat. This makes the book zoomed layer only visible by the shape layer and this is what we wanted. Now if you want to zoom more, you can always do that by increasing the scale. But we have one problem. If we move the magnifying glass, the shape layer will not follow it. To fix this, we need to link the shape layer to the magnifying glass layer. We can do that by parenting it. Now we can move it without any problem. Now we need to add some keyframes to the magnifying glass layer so that it moves automatically. Press P for position and click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Move few seconds and then move the hand. It will add another keyframe. You can add as many keyframes as you want. To make the movement smoother, select the keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. Now let's play. For the final effect, we can add some blur in the bottom book layer to really focus on the magnifying areas. Go to effects and presets and search for quotient blur. Apply it to the book layer. Around 15 to 20 blurriness will do. Now it looks much better. We can also add some motion blur to the magnifying glass layer by clicking this icon. This will make it a little more realistic. Okay, great. So this is how we can create fake magnifying glass effect in Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. Subscribe my channel for new videos every week. And don't forget to like, share and hit the ring button. I will see you on next week. Thank you so much for watching.